Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu, you are watching this video from CybercadSolutions.com. Today in this session, I am going to explain how to place different type of dimensions in AutoCAD. Before going to place dimensions, go to annotate tab and make sure that dimensions group is available. But now I am going to tell you how to use commands to place different dimensions. First of all, we will try to use toolbar and then we will use shortcut commands. So to place a linear dimension, go to annotate tab, then dimensions group and open this take linear dimension. Now if you observe at the command prompt, it is asking first extension line origin. Click the first point. Then it is asking specify second extension line origin. Now click the second point. Now it is asking to specify dimension line location. So start point and end point are not sufficient. We have to provide the location of the dimension line also. So make sure it is not overlapping on anything, uh, any other things and pick somewhere where appropriate like this. But if you observe this dimension text is not properly visible. So how to increase the text height, arrow size and all those things. Now I am selecting this. Uh, let us go to dimension style. So in the annotate tab, go to the dimension group, open this combo box and select manage dimension style. Then select the standard which is currently we are using and click on modify. Here different tabs are available. Directly go to the fit tab and here use overall scale of. Here in this text box, increase the value to 10 times and click OK and then close this dialog box. Now if you see this dimension size is increased as much as required, but it seems a little bit more than required. So let us change it to five units. Again, go to the dime manage dimension style and click modify go to the fit tab and change it to five units and say ok and click close now this is appropriate again how to place vertical dimension again go to dimension group and click on linear pick first extension line second extension line and placement point then how to place a align dimension again click this combo and click align dimension and pick first point, second point and placement point. We have to provide three points for every dimension. Similarly, to place angle dimension, open this, take angular and click included, click the two lines whose included angle is to be placed and move the cursor to the appropriate location to specify the location of this angle dimension like this. Now, let us see how to do or how to place the same dimensions using commands. I am erasing these dimensions. Now we will go using shortcut commands. Type dim, hor and press enter to start a horizontal dimension. Now if you observe at the command prompt, it is asking to provide first extension line origin. Click first point, second point and placement point. Similarly, dim, ver for vertical dimension click first point, second point and placement point. Three points we have to provide. Similarly, to place align dimension, dim ALI, press enter and pick first point, second point and placement point. And to place angle dimension, type DIM ANG, press enter, pick the first line, second line and placement location point. Like this, we can use dim HOR for horizontal dimension dim ver for vertical dimension dim ali for align dimension dim ang for angular dimension similarly to place radius dimension type dim rad and press enter and select the circle and pick the placement point like this so this is how we place general horizontal vertical aligned angular and radius dimensions let us say we have a group of dimensions which are coming continuously when we have blocks like this and we have to place dimension continuously over here then how to do that 
First of all, place one single horizontal dimension for the first block like this and click the location. Then we have a command called continue dimension. You can see that over here in the dimensions group. Shortcut for that is DIM CON and press enter. Now automatically the start point will be selected and we have to select only second extension line origin. If you observe at the command prompt, it is asking to select second extension line origin. Simply you have to click only second points. First points will be automatically taken out and we have to pick only second extension line origin and press enter to finish this command. This is called continuous dimension. Similarly, sometimes we may get baseline dimension. Let us place one single horizontal dimension using dim hr command and pick first point, second point and placement point. Now we have a command called dim base, dim base and press enter. Now automatically start point will be taken as in the case of continuous dimension. We have to select only second extension line origin. Pick second extension line origin as required and keep on picking second extension lines till the required dimensions are placed and press enter to finish the baseline dimension. So dim con is for continuous dimension, dim base dim base is for placing baseline dimensions. So this is how to place simple dimensions using dimension shortcut commands. Hope you understand how to place simple dimensions. If you like this video, please share my video link cybercatsolutions.com to your friends. If you have any doubts, please email me. My email ID is cybercatprabhu at gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video and welcome to the next session.